Okay, welcome back. Good evening to all of you. It's a pleasure to be here again. The weather here in this area, it is raining today. Today is Tuesday 19. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Okay, welcome back. How have you been? How was your day today? Everything good, teacher. Ah, okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent. What about you, Mr. Castro? Mr. Castro, can you hear me? Excellent teacher, excellent. Oh, okay, thank you.
Okay. I don't know what's going on with my cell phone. It's not working. I need to be sure that all of you got a, a file in the WhatsApp group, please check out. Do you have it there? Yes, I guess you have it. If you want, you can download it now because in order to have it ready at the moment that we are going to use it. Será que le llegó un cor eh, un documento que les envié por ahí? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Sure. Okay, okay, okay. Because we are going to use it. Um, I'm going to send you some material. Le voy a enviar algún material para que les quede para la refuerzo. No significa que que todo ese lo vamos a, a lo vamos a, a, a lograr ver en, durante la clase porque es bastante. We are facing some problem in different areas. It is raining. Right here it's raining too. I don't know there in your places. Okay, I'm already. I'm already, I'm already. I'm ready, teacher. Okay. Okay, here we go. 
let me see, only nine. Solo tenemos nueve personas. The rest is having problems in order to connect because the raining. I don't know in your place if I hear it, it is raining today again. I don't know in your areas if it is raining or not. In fact, there are some of your classmates that they are sending me some messages telling me that they have problem because no power, no electricity, no uh, internet service. Muchos de sus compañeros están teniendo problemas por conexión. Algunos están reportando eh, problemas de energía eléctrica y por ende no hay señal. Esperemos que se van agregando a medida vamos avanzando en el tiempo. Okie dokie. Okay, you already got the two files that I sent it, right? Ya tienen los dos uh, archivitos que les envié, ¿cierto? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, first of all, let me check out the attendance. Vamos a revisar la asistencia. Veamos quiénes están. Okay, I got it. Ana del Carmen. Ana. It's not here. Ángel Narciso. Present teacher. Okay. Cristina, not here. Eh, Giovanni Alexander, 
Gerson Manuel. Present. José Miguel. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Karina Noemí. Linda Ivet. Present. María Idalia. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Eh, María Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Marvin. Nancy Ivet. Nancy. Norma. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Raquel. Reinaldo. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica. Xiomara del Carmen. Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, this is the video conference number 14. We are going to talk about how to use uh, phrasalware. And we are going to make a review about some idiom that we studied yesterday. Uh, at the end of the class yesterday, I told you to create some sentences and I would like to hear it now because, uh, and that way we are going to connect this new class. I need a volunteer who wants to read it in order to make a review about the idioms that we studied yesterday, please. Who wants to read it? Hello? What we are doing is just a, a review about the topic that we studied yesterday. I remember that I asked you to write down some sentences using some idioms. I, what I need is that you read it today in order to, to remember. Do you want to do it? No? Okay, how can I ask you this? At the end of the class, I request you to write down some sentences using some idioms, right? What I need is that you, you read it and that way we are going to remember it and make a review, okay? Who wants to do it? In order to connect the class, this class with the previous, we need to make a review. What do you remember about the, the class that we studied yesterday? Tell me, please.
Hello. Hello. Hola. Somebody wants to mention at least uh, one or two examples. Living in a kitchen. <laughs> Excuse me. I live in kitchen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. What else? What about under the weather? A sick as a dog. Do you remember that? My stomach is killing me. Ah, okay. Excellent. What else? Okay, as, 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 as a dog. A, a dog. Yeah. Okay, I, I need some example. I need some example. That you give me some example. There is something going around. Ah, okay. There is something around me, around you, and so on. Okay, okay. What else? Okay. Take Some, it easy. Ah, take it easy. Take it easy. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Somebody else want to say something about this, please? Green around the blues. Mm. Okay. Somebody else, please. Alguien más. Teacher, y esta, y esta oración que querrá decir, así como eh, tica sabic. Which one? Tic, tic, tica sabic. Como, ¿cuál sería la, la, la traducción? No, no la traducción, sino este. El significado. El significado. Uh, I don't know if you can write it down in the chat. Escríbalo en el chat. No llegó. Ticas, uh -huh, I got it. I got it. If you translate it in a common way, what is the meaning? Si lo traducimos a, a la forma literal, dice como que tan grueso como un ladrillo. Grueso como un ladrillo. Sí, pero talking about uh, about idioms had to do had to be uh, another meaning That, that is a kind of, uh, how can I explain you this? A kind of offensive expression in that way, in, in a very way. Yeah? Because, because if I, uh, for example, uh, if I say her, her, her employers must see that she is perceived as being as sick as a brick. It is like a, well, 
I'm going to write it down maybe in, in the chat. I don't want to say that word because sometimes we can get uh let me let me let me let me see it here. I got it. I'm going to put it here. Okay. Yeah, it's that. You got it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, la, la, la escribo ahí porque sí, yes, I yes. guess it's better in that way. Por, por, porque si no van a decir, no, no, ve las palabras que le está enseñando a los muchachos. <laughs> no. Ok, bueno, los demás creo que sí lo, sí lo vieron lo re, ahí. Yo rela, lo relacioné así como, como las frases que estamos viendo ahorita. Ya. Yeah. Pero no sabía no, no, el significado. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, yeah, the problem is that... Uh, how can I say you this? That sometimes we can apply in, in, in different contexts also. Que se pueden... Eh, se pueden aplicar en diferentes contextos. Imagínese que, que un estudiante, un estudiante, uh, a student when, when, when he was in, in high school, for example, somebody could say, uh, I smoke a lot of, and could, could say the name of the, or the drug or something like that. A common example is that somebody say, I smoke a lot of marijuana when I was in high school. So I turn out thick as a brick by the time. And I finally graduated. You know? That, that is the, the use of, of the expression. Okay. Hay muchas, muchas, muchas expresiones. No sé si los demás entendieron la pregunta. ¿No? Sí. Bueno, por ahí se los dejé escrito en el chat. Okay, uh, going back again to the, to the review that we are making. Uh, rem could you remember me just two or three more, please? I, I told you one uh, using the word paro, do you remember that? I don't know what happened. All the cameras turned off. No sé qué pasó. Todas las cámaras se apagaron. What's going on here? Los extraterrestres, the aliens. The aliens are doing something. Okay, I need that you tell me uh, that you give me more example of what we are talking about. Más ejemplos de lo que estamos hablando, de los idioms que vimos el día de ayer. Pero quiero que me digan los que se realmente se les quedaron. ¿Cuáles? ¿Cuáles serían? Hello, tell me, do you have it in your book? Calling in sick. Excuse me? Calling in sick. Ah, okay. Give, but give me the example, please. Give me the example. My headache is killing me. Ah, okay, okay, excellent. Okay, so, some, some, somebody else, please. No creo que no se les haya quedado ninguno si estuvimos hablando de varios. 
I don't believe you. Do you remember? No? Don't remember. Don't remember. Under the weather, uh, tip top J, calling six, can offer, take it easy. Do you remember? No? No, I don't believe you. No, no, no les creo, no les creo que no se recuerden. Okay, let us see the new conversation for today. And based on that, we are going to start talking about a new topic. Okay, I don't know if you can see it very well. No sé si usted lo puede ver muy bien. I need to move something here. Listen to teacher read the conversation, then practice with the planner. Dave and Tom. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner, please? I need to tighten it up, this screw. Sure, here you go. Sense a lot. Look, did kid clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know. He did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, do you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And, and now we have a problem. Yeah. I seen that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Okay. I need that you that you read it, please, and get familiar with this expression. Try to read it. Me teacher. Ah, okay. Do you want to read it? Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that panel, please? I need to type Thailand map. It's real. Sir, here you go. Thank a lot. Look, he can clean up the room before he left. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch up the power. Right. By the way, did you call up the electric cam? The engine doesn't stop to turn up. And now we have a problem? Yeah. I think that if you turn oil irregularly, it will sign up. Eventually, that's correct. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again. Try to pay, pay attention, please. Tom, I, I need your help. Can you pass me this spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Sense. Sense a lot. Look. The kid clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know. He did because I asked him to switch off the power. Bray, by the way, do you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil in it, Regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. Okay. Tighten up, clean up, switch up, call up, 
turn off CSAP. 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 Okay. Somebody else want to read it, please? Do it. Um, I need your help. Can you pass pass me the spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure. Here we go. Thanks a lot. Did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Seize up. See that. Seize up. Seize up. Seize up. Okay. Okay, thank you, somebody. I want to do it now before to practice with somebody else, please. Hello, hello, hello. Are you there? Are you still there? Or I don't know if you have any problem. Just if you have problem uh, with the word, how to pronounce it, just let me know. I'm going to help you. Si hay alguna palabra que les hace difícil, solo dígame cuál es. Porque cuando voy leyendo es posible que quizá no se no, no lo oyen exactamente como puede ser. Just tell me, please. Me, teacher. Ángel. Okay. Are you, okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that Spanish, please? I need to pick Pick them up this screen still. Sure, here you go. Thank a lot. Look, he keep clean up the room before he left. Yes, he did. I know the I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. There, yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will side up eventually. That's correct. That's correct. That's, That's correct. correct. That's correct. Okay, right here, I need to tighten, tighten up, tighten up, tight. Tighten, tighten, tighten up. Tighten up. And let me see another one that I hear uh, right here. Re re read it again. Ask it. Okay. Ask. It is asked, asked with a T at the end. Asked. 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 Okay. Asked. Excellent. Okay. Somebody else, please. Okay, do it. I need your help. Can you pass me the pa spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screen. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. La, look this king clan. The room before he left. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to swing off the power. Great, great, great. By the way, did you call, call up the electrician? The electrician. The engine does stop to turn, turn off. No, we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it, it will size eventually. Thank, thanks. That's correct. Okay, okay. 
Okay, thank you. I'm going to read it again, and then you are going to practice with somebody else. Okay, right here is a Tom. I, I need your help. Can you pass me the standard, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Tighten up this screw. Sure. Here you go. Sense a lot. Look, the kid clean up. Listen, clean up. Clean up the room before he left. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, do you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah. I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will cease up eventually. That's correct. Okay. No problem. Or see problem. Just tell me. No problem. Okie dokie, let me start sharing and we are going to create, uh, let me see how many people, 17 I got, it's gonna be like eight, uh, yeah, it's gonna be eight, in one group is going, going to be, let me see, three I guess, let me create it, okay, let me see, in the room one is going to be Ana Cristina, Juan Carlos and Norma. And what you are going to do is that you are going to wear uh, Anna and Cristina, Anna and Juan, and then could be Juan and Norma or Anna and Norma. It's up to you. But you are going to have three minutes in order to practice. Here we go. Right now they are practicing the conversation with a partner and later on they are going to do it right here in front of the class with the rest of the students.
Okay, welcome back. And I need volunteers who want to perform the conversation in order that the rest of the class can listen, okay? Just say me and you are going Narciso. to- Hello. Narciso. Hello. Narciso, Narciso, okay, Narciso. And really... Here we go, here we go, okay. Ready, you be... Okay, go ahead, do okay. it, do it, do it, do it. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that suspender, please? I need to tighten up this script. Sure, here you go. Thank a lot. Look, did kid clean up the room before he left? He left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engineer doesn't just stop to turn up. Now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil your regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Somebody else, please. Somebody else, somebody else. Volunteers, voluntarios, por favor. Me, teacher. Nancy, okay. With? Yes. Who is your oh, partner? Giovanni Alexander. Giovanni. Giovanni. Go ahead. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spinner, please? I need to tighten this room. Uh, sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did kid clean up a room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked. In the Ray, by the way, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I asked okay. him to switch off Ray, the power. Uh, ah, oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Great. By the way, did you call me the electrician? The engineer doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up, size it eventually. That's correct. Okay, let me, let, let, okay, thank you. Let, let me share it something here. Well, I'm going to share it in the book. Okay. Let me get it bigger. And I said, Chama, I need to tell you something that is going to help you a lot. For example, we need to pronounce in a whole word this one, uh, clean up and also tighten up, tighten up, it is together. Uh, and also this one, when you say, I asked, I asked, Asking, I asking, it is together, asking. I'm going to read it again. Lo voy a leer una vez más in order that you can hear me very well. Tam, I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Sense a lot. Look, the kid clean up the room before he left. Yes, he did. I know he did because he asked him to switch off the, the power. Gray, by the way, do you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop 
to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't all it regularly, it will cease up eventually. That's correct. Okay. Somebody wants to do it now, please. Remember the technique that I, I have gave you. Se recuerdan la técnica que les he dado, ¿cierto? Hay, yes. que, hay que escribir la pronunciación, si se me olvida, para llegar más cerca. Ok. Ok, somebody else, please do it now, please. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I know that you can do it. I know that you can do it. Okay. Let us practice now. Let us practice now, please. Hello. Okay, if you don't want to practice, I, I'm going to start with, with another activity. Si no quieren practicar, entonces. I need to, to move forward. Okay. I don't see it. I don't see. I don't see volunteers. I don't see volunteers who wants to do it. Me teacher, pero Reinaldo creo que se no voy a poder porque como que se quedó sin conexión. No, no. no Reinaldo. Is there. Reinaldo Castro is there. Es que cuando estábamos practicando se, se cortó. No sé. Quedó así como en inmóvil la pantalla no, pero allá ah, okay we do no, no problem no problem okay inicia usted o inicio yo usted comienza okay Tom I need your help can you pass me that sprinter please I need to tie it up this scrub sure here you go thanks a lot look the king clean out the room before he left. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch, switch off the power. Pray, by the way, did you call up the electrician? The engineer does stock to off, and now we have a problem. Yeah. I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will side up eventually. That's correct. That's correct. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. you're welcome. Okay, the last word is cease up. It will cease up eventually. Cease. Cease up eventually. Okay. She's up. Yep, she's up eventually. Okay, somebody else? Somebody else wants to do it? No? Hello, 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 hello. Okay, another thing that I would like to be pretty sure is that all of you got the, the file that I send you. A todos les llegó el, el archivo que les envía, sí? Ah, okay, okay. Okay, anybody else, okay? Ya nadie quiere hacerlo. Bueno, okay, let us continue then. If you don't want to talk, well, we are going to continue working. Okay. Okay, we are talking about uh, phrasal verbs. And, but what is a phrasal verb? A phrasal verb is a combination of a verb and an arbor or preposition which has a particular meaning, such as look after, uh, hurry up, give in, chill out, get away with, and bring it up. For example, in the sentence, don't tell me 
how to bring up my children. Bring up means rise. An adverb or preposition in a phrasal, phrasal verb is sometimes called a particle. Ok, that is the concept. Este es el concepto de lo que es un phrasal verb. La combinación de un verbo con, puede ser con un adverbio, una preposición y tiene un significado muy particular. Ok, it's, it is like a, in a general way. But uh, also I would like to share with you some examples. This is quite different from what we have in, in the book. Phrasal verb in English. For example, get in. The meaning of get in is this. Get out. Yes, get on. Get on. Get on. Get off. Uh, get up. Get down. Uh, get away. Get over. Get through. Got a different meaning, you know? For that reason, we call it phrasal verb. Por eso le llamamos eh, de esa manera. Son frases verbales que juntas con eh, otra palabra como, como una preposición, un adverbio, el significado ya es sumamente diferente. Ok. But before to go and read the material that I send you, let me check out the attendance because we are so close to check it now. Let me see. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ángel. Present teacher. Cristian. Cristina, perdón. Cristina Stephanie. It's not here. Giovanni. Present. Harrison. Present. José Miguel. José Miguel. José Miguel. Lo vi conectado a Miguelito, pero suddenly it's not here. Okay. Juan Carlos. Present. Karina is there too. Present. Lin Linda. Present. Eh, María Idalia. Here I am, teacher. María Julia. Present. Marvin. Marvin. Nancy. Present teacher. Eh, Norma. Present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel. Reinaldo. Present teacher. Eh, Suleima. Xiomara. Present teacher. Eh, Nana Cristina. Ok. Teacher, no me mencionó. Marlene. Marlene. Let me see, Marlene Nicole, I said. Yes. Ok. ¿Será que no la mencioné? ¿Será o no será? A mí me escuchó, teacher. Yes. 
Okay, in order to continue, I need that you open uh, the file with the name of reason to call in six. Reason to call in six. And I need that all of you open it. But if you want, let me see what we can do. Well, if you want, I can share it and we can read it together, okay? Let me see if I have it here. I got it here. I'm going to share it. Can you see it very well? Yes? Hello? Hola. Hello. Can, you Hello. Can, can you see it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. 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 Okay, uh, do you want me to read it? Listen to colleagues. Le, le gustaría que se los lea? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Reason to call in six. Do you have a good reason to stay home? When you wake up with an upset stomach or a stuffy nose, are you someone who think, oh no, I don't want to call in six. Art alternatively, maybe you are one of those people who feel that it's okay to take a sick day even when you aren't ill. If you are a member of the first camp, you may be under brutalizing your sixth day. But if you count yourselves among the second, you may be misusing them. Okay, first of all, uh, what I would like to ask you is to identify all the phrases there that you can see it there. Lo primero que necesito es que traten de identificarme cuáles son las phrases verdad que that we have there. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, try and try try to try to un, un, underline maybe in your material or, or writing down in something, please. O las escriben en, en algo ahí. How many, how many uh, do you find? ¿Cuántas encontró? Tell me. ¿Cuántas? Okay, but take take into account uh what what we already read, right? Five reasons to call in six. I, I, I get that yesterday we talked about calling six, the meaning of calling six, right? Do you remember that? Yeah, teacher. Okay, okay. I'm going to read this. Your six days are used to use when you need them. Put your workaholic tendencies aside. Organization rarely fall apart because one employer's absence. Calling out from work 
may even say every everyone else from cashing what you have. Going to work six means spreading your germ around the office, which is sure to annoy your coworker. It is also difficult to be productive and work with uh, when you aren't feeling well. Here are some appropriate reasons to stay in home. Okay, try try to identify all the phrases where that you can see it there, please. Okay, what about then this one? Somebody wants to read it? I need a volunteer who wants to help me to read, please. Only one. Only one, please. Me teacher. <clears throat> okay, Anna. Eh, me corrige si estoy mal. Vamos a aprender. Okay. <laughs> Eh, you have an ah, uh, you know, really nice that my meat to be contagious. If you suspend your workers, could have you, uh, no puedo pronunciar eso, teacher, me ayuda. Illinois, no sé. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold well, on. Okay, espérenme un segundo. Cuando yo digo, uh -huh. cuando digo hold ah, on, okay. hold on, uh -huh. sí, hold on means, como quien dice, uh, espere moment, moment, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. One moment, please. Dígame mejor que no entiendo. No, pero estamos usando idioms, estamos usando phrasal ah, okay, verb. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Y cuando le dice, por ejemplo, está hablando usted por teléfono y hay alguna interrupción, usted dice, hold on, please. Como quien dice, espéreme un momentito ahí. Okay, okay. Se, lo, se lo voy a leer despacio. No vamos a correr. Lo que me interesa es que aprenda. Dice, you have an illness that may be contagious. If you suspect your coworker could catch your illness, stay home until you are better or know for sure that what you have isn't contagious. For example, if you are throwing up or had diarrhea, you could have a stomach, a stomach virus. The sudden onset of symptoms like fever, chills, and variage could mean you have the flu. Both a stomach virus and the flu can spread through a workplace like a wildfire. Taking down everything in its path. If, if, if your eyes are red, swollen, and crusty, you may have conjunctivitis, also known as pink eye, which is highly infectious. A severe sore throat with swollen glands is also a symptom of a strep throat, and you can spread it to your coworkers. Okay, now better. More or less, teacher. More or less? Okay. Somebody wants to read it? Um, bye. And uh, if you find a word that is difficult, just let me know. Cuando encuentre una palabra difícil, me, me, me dice. Okay. <laughs> uh, you have a line that meet the contactus. If you suspend your workers, how can your Ill illness stay home until you are better or no? For sure that what you have is in, is in contact, contact use. For example, if you are throwing out or have a diarrhea. 
Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. No, diarrhea. 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 Permítame, voy a anotar. Diarrhea. 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 Yes. You call a half a stomach. Virus. Virus. The virus. Virus. Okay. The sal sudden oxic ox symptoms like fever. Shears and body aches could mean you have the flu. Both a stomach virus and the flu. Crane spreads thrown a workplace like a will fire. Taking down everything in his pub is your eyes are red. It's, it's, it's swelling in, in crusty. You may have con, conjunctivities also. Now it's pink eyes which is high infectious. A severe sore draw with swollen glands is a symptom of a strict drop in you can spread in to your co-workers. <sighs> it's kind of difficult. Um, se dice conjuntivitis? Conjuntivitis. Conjuntis. Conjuntivitis. 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 Hasta ahí, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. Hasta Walker, ¿verdad? Okay. Difficult. Okay. Not difficult. Not difficult. It is easy. Oops. What's going on here? Let me see. Okay, what about what about here? You have a fever. You will get a fever when fighting an infection. Not only it is a symptom of a contagious illness, but it will make you tired and keep you from being able to work efficiently. Go to the doctor to find out if an antibiotic is necessary. Also, get plenty of rest. And I'm going to read this too. You have a rash in addition now to a rash is making you extremely uncomfortable. Some are also communicable until you know the cause, avoid contact with other people. If you find out it is isn't contagious, go back to work. But don't be surprised if your coworker keep their distance. While you don't have to go until detail inform them they can catch it. Don't forget to mind your manner and relieve any itchiness in private. Well, these are suggestions. And you can read it later on because, well, we are going to spend a lot of time reading. But let me read this too. You are in significant pain, headaches, injuries, sprain, broken bones, and other problems can cause severe or significant pain. After you have taken the proper measure to make sure nothing that can endanger your overall health is causing it, you can go to work if you choose. Realize, however, that that you may not be able to operate at your peak performance and pay medication will compound the problem. Rest is beneficial. And what else do we have here? This is long. You have a common cold. Whether or not to call in sick because you have a cold depend on its severity. A cause of a sniffle is a good reason to take the day off. But if you are rapidly emptying boxes or tissues and they have an uncontrollable cough, your call is pretty bad. It can cause problems with concentration and can spread to other in your workplace. 
if you decide to go to your work, wash your hand frequently and keep your phone and computer germ free by wiping them down with alcohol wipes if other chair then. If your coworker keep their distance, don't be offended. It may not be the, the godly deal you have with lunch, but instead their fear of catching what you have. Okay, uh, well, the rest you can read it later on, but what I need is that you just tell me if you identify some uh, phrasal verb here in this uh, document that we have. Just tell me. I, I know that you have it there. I'm going to stop sharing it in order that you can tell me what you think about this. This is a real document where you can find phrasal verbs. Es un documento real donde nosotros encontramos frases verbales. At the beginning, maybe it's going to be uh, kind of difficult for some of you to understand it. Este documento eh, es el que aparece en el link que le, le aparece justo aquí. Aquí hay un link, es this. You can find it there. Ahí puede encontrar el artículo. This is the article. Yeah. And some reason why we we can uh, call in six or not. But I need that you uh, read it later on and, uh, and practice. Okay. What can you tell me? Uh, do you remember some phrasal verb that we found there, please? Será que recuerdan algunos phrasal verb que encontramos en el reading? Throwing up. Throwing uh, up. Okay, what else? Taking down. Okay. Falling up. Wake up. Ah, wake up, wake up. Okay, excellent, excellent. Um, and also, I already sent you a, a list. También les mandé otro documentito por ahí donde les aparece una lista de phrasal verbs. Eh, la pueden ver luego y cuando tengan su, su tiempo libre. In order that you can increase your knowledge about this, okay? Para que puedan uh, aumentar eh, su conocimiento relacionado a esto. For example, I got here some phrasal verb with the verb go. And there is a combination with different uh, word. For example, if I go by, mean to pass time. And the example last week went, went by so fast. And another one could be go after, to try to get something. I am planning to get after my friend to project a uh, friend pride when he leaves. Go about, we have go for, go away, uh, go down, go on, go ahead. And also we had the example and, and the explanation. I don't know if you, if you want to read it. Who wants to read it? This one, please. Go about, who wants to read it? Hello. Me teacher. Okay, go about. Oh, go about. Okay, tell me. Go about, go about to deal with something. Okay, to deal how with can I go? How can I go about solving this problem? Yes. Do you understand the meaning? How can I go about solving this problem? Comprende el significado de go about? How can I go about solving this problem? Como, 
¿Cómo puedo solventar ese problema? ¿O ¿Qué hacer? Ya, ah, como quien dice, ¿qué hago? ¿Cómo lo resuelvo? ¿Cuál es la solución? Ya, yeah. could be in the way, ok. Go for, what is go for? Ok, somebody else, please go for. Somebody else, please. Ir por algo, teacher, como obtener algo. To try to have something, ok. Do you want to read the example? Our team will go for the gold. Me gold medal at the Olympic Games. At the Olympic Games, okay. Go for it. It is like to get something, right? Voy por eso, dice. Sí. Hay un bono en la compañía. I go for it. Okay. Go away. What is that? Go away. Déjame en patis. <laughs> go away. It's to leave a place. Ah, place. Dejar yeah. un lugar. Yeah, go away and leave me alone. Go away and leave me alone. See? ¿Sí? Vete. Desaparece. No, ya no les enseño más de esas. No, 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 no. Go down. What is the go down? To move down, to reduce. When the fire alarm sound, the elevator will go down. It's clear. The example is clear, okay? Okay, I'm going to stop sharing this because I need to show you what we have in the book. And we need to study also how we are going to use uh, the two word phrase, phrase of bear. And I have it here. Right here it says, some bear are two par bears. They consist on a bear and a particle or a small word, like a preposition. The particle often gives a new meaning to the bear. For example, pay plus after, he takes after his father. What is the meaning? He looks like his father or he behaves like his father. That, that is the meaning of stay after. Do you understand it? Me comprende el ejemplo? Se parece a su padre. Yeah, he takes after. He looks like his father. Yeah. That, that this is the meaning. Recordemos que este es el significado, pero la oración es esta. He takes after his father. He yeah. Him. Or he behaves like his father. This is the, 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 the phrasal verb. It's this one. Take after. It's this one. He takes after his father. For example, we have call plus off. Mary call off the meeting. What is the meaning? This means that Mary conceal the meeting. Call off. Call off. Cancelar, se canceló la reunión. Okay, así funcionan los phrasal verbs. Okay, let us work in exercise number five, please. Right here, you are going to match bear with its preposition and complete each sentence with one of them. Okay, try to resolve, please. Let us do it now. The number one is done. Number one, teacher. Yeah, el uno está resuelto. Number two. You need to look for two, three, four, five, and six. And number then. Two. Number two, teacher.
Okay, tell me. Okay, number two is combined with number two. Yes, but, but but what I need is that you are going to uh, switch up. with switch up. Okay, 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 okay. It's going in this way, right? Okay, what about number three? Clean up. Clean up. Clean up, clean up. No. Number four. Turn off. Face up. Sis, sis, sis. Sis, sis up. Sis up. Number five. Turn off. Turn off. And the last one is. Call up. up. Okay, now you are going to complete these sentences. Okay, try to do it now, please. We already have the number one. Can you pass me this tanner? I need to tighten up this bowl. Do you know what is the meaning of this one? Tighten up this ball. Okay, if you don't have the material, make a screenshot now because I need to. Como apretar, verdad? Yes, yes, it is. Vamos a apretar estas tuercas, dice. Okay, do you have it in this way? Yes, do you have it in this way? Yeah. Okay, now I need that you fill this gap right here. The, the, the number one is, is done. Can you pass me the spanner? I need to tighten up this ball. You need to do two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Try to do it now. Take your time. Don't worry. I know who, who already finished. Yeah, yeah, we can terminate them. Así es que no demos copia.
what is that sound? It breathes. I don't know what's going on there. There is a uh, exchange sounds, you know. Okay, let us see if you finish. Yeah. Do you finish? Yeah. Okay. I need a uh, if you are going to participate, you are going to read the whole the whole sentence. It is like if somebody say, okay, I'm going to read the number one. Can you pass me this banner? I need to tighten up this bowl. Okay. Somebody else want to read the number two, please. Only one, only one. Number two, teacher. Okay, uh, Angel, tell me, number two. This workshop is very dirty. Let's clean up this place. Okay, this workshop is very dirty. Let's clean up this place. Okay, excellent. Number number three, please. Teacher, this workshop is very dirty. Let, pardon, the three. Remember to switch off the power before you remove the machine. Ah, okay. Excellent. Remember to switch off the power before you remove the machine. What is the meaning of the word switch off, Harrison? Okay, excellent, excellent. Number four. Number four. Volunteer, please. Pop the computer one, two, or A. Okay, read the game, please. Can you read it again, please? I, I, hope, I hope the computer won't turn off. Again. I hope the computer won't turn off again. 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 Okay. Again. Okay, number five. Number five. Who wants to do it? Number five, please. Hello. Me, teacher. Okay, Angel. If you don't lubricate these types of machine regularly, they will say sub. Ah, okay, excellent. Excellent. Perfect. If you don't lubricate this type of machines regularly, they will seize up. Okay. Now we know what is the meaning of the word seize up, right? Okay. And the last one, number six. Teacher. Hello. En el número 5 se utiliza these types o these porque es en plural. 
Please type. Let, let, let me see if I understand your question. Let me see. What, what you are asking me is. Mm. Lo que usted me pregunta es que si en la número 5. Uh -huh. Ok, continue. Que en vez de ser, utilizarse this, eh, que se está usando en singular, no sería en plural. No. Let, 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 me, let me see if I understand you. Okay, I'm going to read it. And, and at the same time, I'm going to share it with you. Let me, let me see. Se lo voy a compartir y se lo voy a leer para que estemos claritos. Okay. Okay, here we go. Number five. If you don't lubricate these types of machine, you are talking about this, this word. Yes. You are talking about this word, right? Yep. Okay. This type of machines regularly, they will seize up. Okay. What you are telling me, lo que usted me está diciendo es que no se debe de usar este this, sino el this. ¿Se refiere a eso? Está correcto, así. ¿Se refiere a eso? No, no sé si me está oyendo. Sí, teacher, a eso. No puede escucharme. Sí, es que se le, le, le oigo entrecortado. Pero sí, esa es la palabra que tengo duda. Okay, according to the, 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 the word that we have here, because we have right here, uh, we have a plural here. Como acá tenemos un plural, ¿sí? And remember that when we use this kind of article, cuando usamos este tipo de artículos, uh, algunos de, nos demuestran eh, la proximidad en la que estamos, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, dice this, that is what you are telling me when we are talking about singular, right? And also we have this with E and E here and those that is uh, used to talk about plural. You? Yes. That, that, that is what you are talking about, right? Uh -huh. Okay, but in this... Uh -huh. Okay, okay, I can hear you. I don't know if you are talking. No sé si está hablando porque se oye un ruido. Are you speaking? Ok, en español, así rapidito. La pregunta de la compañera es, ¿qué si acá, por ejemplo, dice que usted, si usted no usa, ¿sí? Ella dice que aquí debería decir estos tipos. A eso creo que es que ella se refiere. ¿Ya? a estos tipos de máquinas. Regularly, they will seize up. But in this case, we already have uh, in plural the type of machines. En este caso, como ya tenemos en plural, los tipos de máquinas. ¿Ya? Entonces, ella, ella, ella consideraría que sería lo más viable usar How, how can I write this? This word. Creo que eso es lo que se refiere, ¿cierto? Hola. Hola. Sí, sí creo que a eso se refiere. Ah, ok, ok, ok. I guess it's, it's, she's talking about this. 
Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's common to use it in this way. If you don't lubricate this type of machines regularly, they will seize up. According to that we have started how we are going to use uh, this kind of article. Okay. Okay, hello, it's clear? Quedamos. Also the PLDs also. Let me raise it. How can I erase it? Jesus, I can erase it. Okay, in este caso, lo más lógico sería. Eh, en español nosotros así lo hacemos, ¿sí? Que, que, que diría estos tipos, estos tipos de máquinas, ¿sí? Que sería, sería lo, más, lo más viable, ¿no? Por eso es que a ella le llamó la atención porque la palabra que sigue está en, 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 en plural, ¿cierto? Entonces sería this type of machine. Okay, no problem. And what about the, the last one? The number six. The okay. printer, the printer just stopped working. We need to call up a technician. Technician. Okay, read again, please. Leala de nuevo, por favor. Okay. <clears throat> the printer just stopped working. We need to call up, call up a, ten, a technician. Technician. A technician. A technician. Yes. It is called the printer just stopped working. We need to call up a technician. Okay. A technician. Yeah, a technician. Okay. Um, in order to continue, what we need to do is the following. Lo que necesitamos hacer es lo siguiente. You are going to get together in group of two and you are going to uh, create a role play, a conversation where one of you are going to be the supervisor and another one is going to be the maintenance personnel using a facial bear like the one that we have started. It's going to be a short conversation that you are going to do. Like the example that we have in the book, but you are going to personalize it. Usted la va a personalizar esa conversación. Podría ser parecida a esta, ¿sí? But that means that you need to switch a little bit. And using this kind of, usando eh, los phrasal verbs that we have started. Usando las frases que hemos estudiado. Ok. ¿Se comprende? No, no se comprende. Yes, teacher. Imagine that the supervisor said, eh, Harrison, before you leave the company, you need to clean up the shop. Antes de que salga de la compañía, por favor, necesito que me limpie. Y ya le dice que el lugar. Sí. Pero resulta que es Harrison el que le dice a a la otra persona que está ahí. Okay, okay, let us do it now, please. We are going to use the breakout room and recreate some sentences. Uh, let me see, I'm going to recreate the groups. Okay, here we go again. Mm 
Hola, teacher. ¿Me puede poner en el grupo con Mari y Dalia? Es que el wifi me está fallando mucho y antes que me quedé sin datos. Ok, hold on, Nancy. Hold Por favor, on. voy a hacerlo aquí <risa> rapidito. Gracias. Ok, hold on, hold on. Thank you, teacher. Let me reassign. Yes. Ah, uh, the problem is, let me see. Con Marida Lisa. Room number. María Idalia Hernández. But I can find it. I can find it. Okay, let, let me do What's going on? Nancy, you, you appear alone. And Idalia, ¿en, en qué runa estaba Idalia? No me fijé, pero me desconecté. No sé por qué me sacó. Sí, porque no la, no la, no la encuentro en, la, en lo que tengo acá de lista. No sé por qué, pero no, no me aparece. Sí, sí me sacó. Por eso me volví a conectar. A mí también me saca, teacher. O sea, yo creo que mi internet no también. No sé si es el internet. Yeah, yes, it, it is the internet service. Es, es el internet. The one that is giving us problems. Okay, but don't worry about it. Pero no, okay. no, no, no se preocupen. Okay. 
later on you can uh, do it each other. Okay, I would like to hear uh, some couples. Me gustaría ir algunas parejas who got uh, a conversation, please. ¿Quién se atreve? Hello. Okay, I'm going to recreate again the, the breakout room because Ah, oh, man. No, 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 no. Because if I do it again, uh, you are going to see switch with another person and it's not going to work in that way. Okay, I don't know if somebody of you did it. No sé si alguien de ustedes lo, logró hacer la conversación. Remember, it's, it's, it's going to be sure. You don't need to be alone. And you can use the one that we have in the book and you just adjust to your situation, right? ¿Quién quiere hacerlo? No va a ser una conversación larga, no, no, no. Teacher. Hello. Y Reinaldo en mí. Ok, ok, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Okay. Hello, Reinaldo. Hello, Giovanni. Can you help, help me clean, clean up the office, please? Yes, of course. Thank you. Please at the end turn to, to off the light. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. okay. Somebody else? Somebody else, please. That is the way you need to use your uh, uh, the phrasal verb that we have started, they use it to clean up and turn off. What about you? Let's do it, please. Come on, come on. I know that you can do it. Show me that you can do it, please. Volunteers. Somebody else, somebody else, somebody else. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm still waiting. We are close to finish. But do you know the problem that we have? I can give you more time, for example, uh, twice breakout rooms. But at the end, you say, no, I didn't have enough time to do it. And I know that you have uh, some idea how to do that. Don't be afraid to do it, please. Somebody else, I need somebody else. Alguien más que quiera hacer una conversación corta? Using the phrasal verb. We are so close to finish and to go. And also, uh, I need to talk with Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera at the end of the class. 10 minutes. Nancy, where are you? Nancy. The teacher. Ah, okay, it's there. I don't see your, your camera. But you are you are there, okay? Don't worry. 
Okay, somebody else, please. Okay, don't forget that you need to continue studying and don't give up. This is a phrasal verb. Don't give up. Just continue. Okay. Anybody else? No. Only one, only one couple more, please. You can use the one that we saw in exercise five. Do you remember? Talking about computers, talking about uh, printer. Ok, por el momento es posible que sientan como complicado, como dónde encaja, ¿sí? Dónde encaja, pero por eso les digo que tienen que tomar como base a los ejemplos that, that we already have started. Imagine that you are a supervisor and you ask to your secretary and said, eh, I need that you print this report, please. And somebody else is going to say, I'm sorry, the printer just stopped it working. Yeah? And we need to call up the technician to repair it. Ahí está el uso de lo, las phrases verb. Okay, it's, it's going to be a, as a homework for you in order that you can uh, resolve. And we are going to talk about this tomorrow, pero por favor les pido el día de mañana que hagamos el review de este tema, entonces para esa fecha ya deben de tenerla y ponerla en práctica, ¿ok? Yes, no. Ok, teacher. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Let me check out the attendance, please. Veamos la lista, ¿dónde está la lista? And don't forget that I send you a long list. Ahí les envié un documentito con una lista larga sobre eh, phrasal verbs. Y en el otro documento también eh, ahí hay varios. Identifíquelos. Eh, trate de ver cómo los puede usar en una oración para que luego se le haga fácil. Ok, Ana del Carmen. Present. Ángel. Present, teacher. Eh, Cristina. Giovanni. Present, teacher. Person. Present. José Miguel. José Miguel. Por ahí lo he visto conectado a José Miguel, pero cuando ya ¿Por qué pasó... te tocó a vos, José Miguel? Va. Sí, se conecta y ya cuando paso lista se, se, es como que se le va la señal. Eh, bueno, pero así ahí lo hemos visto. Juan Carlos. Presente, Che. Karina. Presente. Linda. Presente, Che. Eh, María Idalia. Here I am, teacher. Ok, María Julia. Present. Eh, Marlene. Present. Marvin. Nancy. Present, teacher. Norma. Present, teacher. Eh, Raquel. It's not here. Eh, Reinaldo. Present, teacher. Ok, Suleima. Xiomara del Carmen. Present 
teacher. And Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I invite you to read the, the material that I, I already sent you. And that way you are going to understand better this topic, okay? And I hope, yeah. I hope to see you tomorrow. And don't forget to read your material before coming here because in that way it's going to be easy. El, sí. que, el que pueda leer uh, el material antes de que vengamos a la clase será mucho mejor porque ya traerá las ideas más claras. ¿Alguien me hablaba? Sí. Yo tengo una pregunta. Dígame, o sea, Mario. Tratando de hacer la tarea de este día, pero en el número dos no agarra ningún ítem en las respuestas. Ok. Uh... I'm going to check up and I'm going to send you maybe a message in the in the in the WhatsApp. Aparece su nombre, sí. Sí. Ah, okay. Lo lo reviso luego al terminar y, y okay. le y le indico qué qué puede hacer. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Good okay. night. Sí, okay. a mí me pasó lo mismo. No agarra ninguna, verdad? Sí, no. Really? Con yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to check it. Okay. ¿En okay. cuál tarea? ¿En cuál tarea, Marlene? Es la número cuatro y número es el cuatro, número dos. 12. No. Ajá. De la doce, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí no, 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 este, no acepta ninguna. No, la número la catorce. La, la tarea catorce. De la dos. Dos de la catorce. Ajá, la dos. El número dos. También. No hay problema ahí. A ver qué pasa. Tal vez nos puede ayudar el teacher ahí para mañana. Ok, vamos, okay. A, vamos a revisarlo y le vamos a dar algunas ideas. No the answer, but some ideas, ok? Ok, okay. good night. Ok, bye bye, good night. Bye. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night, good night, good night. Ok, Nancy, welcome. I can hear you. Uh, you need to adjust your microphone. Tienes el micrófono apagado. Perdón, teacher, es que me conecté el teléfono. <laughs> que el internet estaba bien malo. Sí. Cada eh, rato me sacaba. Fíjese que he estado notando que quizás el área o el servicio, no sé, pero a veces como que se le oye entrecortado. A veces no, no, no se le oye, no sé, quizás es la zona o quizás estaba lloviendo ahí. Es que ha llovido. Ah, ok. Y como la subestación está cerca, creo que es por eso también. Ah, le afecta, sí. presenta falla, ajá. Ah, ok. Ok, uh, I would like to know if you have any question about the, the, the topic that we... Ok, tell me. El último tema, así que yo, o sea, yo estoy bien confundida con el último tema. ¿El de ahora? El, el de ahora y el de ayer, que ah, se okay. empezaron a utilizar las, las... Los idioms. Los idioms. Ajá, es que yo, yo no lo entendí muy bien, la verdad. Y como cuando me conecté ya, ya había empezado el tema también, entonces no, no, no lo entiendo bien, la verdad. ¿A qué hace referencia o, o cuál es el, el objetivo de utilizarlos? Ok, mire, ¿cómo le explico? Déjeme, Ajá. sí, es que necesito encontrar algo así como más uh, práctico para que me pueda comprender. Ok. Vaya, primero veamos el concepto de lo que es un idioma. Yo di un concepto el día de ayer que se lo voy a mostrar otra vez hoy. Y en base a eso nos vamos a ir, aunque todo ya quedó ahí eh, grabado, pero eh, creo que es necesario hacerle como una explicación extra, ¿no? Ok. Generalmente uh, los idioms son expresiones que nosotros... No, no estamos tan acostumbrados a usar. Y por eso yo les explicaba a sus compañeros 
que eh, los nativos de, del idioma, por ejemplo, lo, los americanos, si de repente está un latino y, y ellos no quieren que uno comprenda lo que están diciendo, ellos comienzan a usar ese tipo de, de expresiones, son propias de ellos. Entonces acá, no sé si logra mirar, creo que sí logra, logra ver. Sí, logra ver. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. ¿Qué es un idiom? Aquí tenemos el concepto. Dice, an idiom is a phrase whose meaning is different from the meaning of each word considered separately. Ok, veamos. Un idiom es una frase cuyo significado es diferente del significado que podría tener cada una de las palabras por separado. Oiga bien. Por ejemplo... Eh, los que vimos en la conversación, veamos la conversación, aquí está, Vaya, veamos aquí, dice, I'm not feeling well today, my stomach is killing me, esta expresión al separarla, encontramos que kill es matar, ¿verdad? Sí. Me está matando, dice ahí, pero al final, esto de killing me, el significado es... El dolor de estómago es fuerte. Bien diferente al. Sí, no tiene nada al que ver. Es Así es. Y el siguiente dice: I'm as six as a dog. Al traducir esto, ¿qué es lo que dice? Yo estoy tan enfermo como un perro. Pero el significado, ¿cuál es? Si yo uso esa expresión, la voy a usar para decir que estoy bien enfermo. Mm. Me, me, me va comprendiendo. Ok. O sea, que está... Que está enfermo nada más, ¿verdad? Bien enfermo. Está bien enfermo. Sí. Entonces, permítame, por aquí le tengo unos ejemplos. I got... Ok. Let me see where I have it. Ok. I guess it's here. Ok. Por ejemplo, aquí hay otro que dice, mire... To be on the weather. Este es otro que aparece ahí en el... el... En la conversación on the... Yeah, we, we, we are, are not well. Cuando dice, uh, I, I am on the weather, significa que yo no estoy bien, que yo estoy enfermo. I am under the weather today. ¿Sí? Estoy enfermo, nada más. He looks under the weather. Él parece estar enfermo. They both feel under the weather. Entonces, y no necesitamos decir eh, la palabra six, sino que aquí como quien dice bajo, bajo el clima. ¿Ya? Me va comprendiendo. Entonces, por ejemplo, aquí to be sick as a dog significa to, to be very sick. Si yo uso la expresión to be sick as a dog, Estar enfermo como un perro, para no, el significado es estar bien enfermo. I was a six as a dog last week. Sí, entonces significa que yo estuve bien enfermo la semana pasada. Semana pasada. Sí. Y, y, y así sucesivamente porque, eh, por ejemplo, este, mire. Aquí hay uno, por ejemplo, dice a death door. ¿Qué significa eso? Estar cerca de la muerte. ¿Sí? sí. Eh, por ejemplo, dice alguien, uh, imagínese que usted tiene una cirugía la otra semana, pero usted no quiere que las personas que estén cerca de usted entiendan lo que usted le va a decir. Entonces usted le dice a alguien, eh, ne next week I'm going to be under undergo surgery, under the knife. Este es el, el idioma es este, go under the knife. ¿Sí? Ir bajo el cuchillo, o sea, que tiene una cirugía. Está complicado para, para interpretarlo. Así sí, aquí, aquí lo, que, lo que hay que hacer es que hay que aprendérselos. Para ir, para ir viendo eh, cuál es realmente el significado de cada uno, porque 
Por ejemplo, este, mire, a six as a parrot. Si, por ejemplo, viene usted y me dice, I, I am as sick as a parrot. Entonces yo me voy a quedar pensando y dice, ella está enferma como un perico. No, no es eso. El significado es to be very annoyed or angry. Ah, significa que está súper enojada. Es, ese es el significado. ¿Sí? Bien diferente. A la, a la... Es, es que es precisamente... Por eso es que yo no la había captado ayer. <risa> me quedé, pues ni por qué dice eso, pero no... No había entendido exactamente el, el sí, por, por eso, dónde iba. Pues. Por eso es que dice que los idioms, al traducir palabra por palabra, no tienen nada que ver al, con, el eh, con el significado. ¿sí? Sí, sí. Imagínese que usted le da un dólar a, 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 a un niño suyo. Y entonces y al ratito llega y le dice, mami, eh, dame el dólar. No, si ya te lo di, no. No, no me lo has dado. Entonces, le, la expresión que usted ahí usa es You are pulling my leg. You are pulling, pulling my leg. ¿Y eso qué significa en, en, en idiomas? Y el, en, el, el, al, al traducirlo, eh, al final la palabra leg es pierna. Pero el significado de en idioma es como quien dice, me estás tomando el pelo. <risa> Es diferente. Sí, es precisamente. O sea, que la clave aquí es aprenderse los idiomas, así, así de memoria. Así es, eso es lo más fácil. No hay otra. Y hay varios. Uh, si, yo le, si yo le muestro, le diría que no, no es que hay dos, sí. no, dos ni tres, mire. American Idiom. Homebridge. <ríe> Solamente. Mire. Mire cómo es de gruesecito. <risa> y ese lo tiene en PDF, dicho. Fíjese no. que eh, este no, pero tengo otro que se los puedo regalar. Para que ahí los pueda leer. Cuando sí, porque tengo. le digo, de todas las clases, ayer sí me sentí perdida porque no entendía de dónde salían las expresiones de las que. Uh, ima ok, imagine that suddenly right now it is raining. Imagínense que está lloviendo ahorita y yo le digo, ok, I'm sorry, I can hear you because right here it is raining cats and dogs. Un perro y un gato. ¿Cuál sería el sentido? Raining cats and dogs. Raining. Lloviendo como un perro y un gato. Sí, pero el significado es que está lloviendo a cántaros. Hay <risa> 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 que ver, no. <risa> Yo le diría que me está tomando el pelo. No, 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 no. Yes, it's good. It's in that way. Como un, como un cántaro. Así, así es. O sea, está lloviendo fuerte. Por eso usted dice, you're raining cats and dogs. Pero para nosotros no tiene como sentido, no tiene lógica. Pero para, para el americano sí, así funciona. Es como, es como un caliche de ellos, vea. Mm, podría decirse, pero son expresiones idiomáticas que con esas expresiones uno si no las sabe se queda perdido como ayer estaba perdido <ríe> sí pero espero que con lo que le he dicho hoy este lo entienda he dicho. verdad eh, imagínese, imagínese esta eh, y ese es más fácil porque y yo le digo ok uh, you need to learn this uh, American idioms by heart Learn it by heart. ¿Qué significaría eso? Repito. <laughs> Learning by yeah. heart. Como una chica. No, by heart. By her. By her. By. Al traducirlo como quien dice, aprendas de lo de corazón. Pero el significado es, aprendas de lo de memoria. O sea, el corazón no tiene nada que ver. Nada que ver. Sí. Ay, no, qué complicado. <risa> sí, es de, ahí es de aprenderse prácticamente las, las expresiones. La Así es. Las expresiones, porque sí. no está fácil solo captarle. O sea, no, hay, no, que, no. Hay, que, hay que leerlo. O sea, y como ya ustedes van casi camino a pasar al intermedio por eso es que ya van apareciendo cositas así como estas uh -huh. ¿sí? 
porque a medida, sí, sí. a medida vamos avanzando en el nivel, vamos avanzando en el conocimiento. Y en las dificultades también. Yeah, and, and the same happened with the topic of today. Lo mismo sucede con el tema de hoy. La diferencia es que el tema de hoy, para formar una frase verbal, necesitamos un verbo más, eh, puede ser un adverbio, pues, puede ser, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Otro, 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 otra palabra, ¿no? Por ejemplo, yo le digo, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. ¿Sí? So, y, ahí van dos frases. Sí, va un ahí verbo, va un verbo. Ah, va un, el y un, como un... Y, y, y el otro es una preposición. Como auxiliar. Entonces, el verbo give significa dar. ¿Sí? En up sería como arriba. Entonces, eh, al final, ¿sabe cuál es el significado? No se, no se dé por vencida. Lo mismo, está bien. Está bien. Ay, no, dicho, yo tengo que ver esta clase unas dos veces, quizás. Ah, ok. Y por eso le dejé una lista por ahí para que les ayude a, a entender eso. Y en la conversación, incluso, por ejemplo, lo que usábamos, clean up, turn on, turn off. Sí, eso, eso es la combinación de, de frases verbales. ¿Verdad? Sí. Que, que, que eso hace que la comunicación sea más fluida, más rápida. Y por eso es que a veces las personas dicen, no, es que el inglés que enseñan en El Salvador no es el mismo. Depende cómo se aprenda. En este caso, por ejemplo, como vamos en forma ordenada, aprendiendo todos estos pasos, no será difícil entenderle a un, a un americano al final. ¿Verdad? Así es sí. que I invite you to, to, to watch the class again over and over and try to, to look the, the material and that way you are going to understand it. Ok. Ok, teacher. Está bien. Ok. Another Thank question. You. Oh. Eh, no. Mejor voy a, voy a, voy a ver la grabación. <laughs> <laughs> sí, tengo que ver la grabación, teacher. Es que de verdad he visto, he visto varias de esta semana, de la semana anterior, cuando he tenido un poquito de tiempo, pero ya la del viernes y la del, la del día de ayer sí me faltan. Son estos temas los que, okay. los que tengo que revisar. Ok, y, sí. y, y es necesario porque como hay que resolver los ejercicios en la plataforma. Exacto. Entonces hay Exacto. que comprender. Y yo, y yo prácticamente, yo si no los he hecho, que casi que el último los he estado dejando como para martes y miércoles. Ah, okay. Pero sí, lo, lo, voy a, lo voy a resolver. Ah, ok, excelente. Ok, was a pleasure to see you. Ok, good night. Bye, good bye. night, teacher. Bye -bye. Thank you. Okay, you're Good welcome. Night. Good night.